Aries, keep it there, please. What is going on, baby? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Several, and I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for October 2020. Show me the money energy. Thank you for subscribing. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. I want to give a lot of love and thanks for every last one of you who have clicked my video and you know just share some love here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If there is anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me if these videos resonate and if you want to send some love and support to my page also my birthday is coming up this Sunday October the 25th so if you guys want to send some birthday love if you want to send me some birthday shout outs you can check out my um, description box in this video or the about tab on my YouTube page it has my Instagram where you can send me a personal message where you can connect with me for booking if you don't have Instagram you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you do not have Instagram to do the video chat readings, I typically use um, Google Hangouts. It's a freezy app easy app to download. The only thing that we need to exchange to do the video reading is our email. So if you guys don't have Instagram, if you want to send out some love or just want to reach out to me for booking, like I said, you can email me or um, go ahead and get yourself set up on Google Hangouts. And again, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So, Aries, you know how we already... Listen, I got... Hold on. I haven't bought my Batman Batman out in a minute. He just touched my spirit box. Hold on. 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 Hold Y'all know, y'all know this is my baby. Y'all ain't seen Fat Man Batman in a minute. Say hello. You know what's up, Fat Man? Listen, he still be on his bullshit. He do not be for the shit, y'all. Y'all, <laughs> Fat Man Batman do not be for the shit. So I don't know why he just wanted to kind of sit out in this reading a little bit today. I don't know. I feel like he got something to say. He just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him today. So listen, we gonna let him chill. Let him take a little spill right here, okay? And we're going to get into the prayer, okay? So, Father God, Father God, we thank you so, so very much for bringing this here for the sign of Aries. I feel like we're going to have some fun today. But, you know, ooh, ooh. So, hold on. I just heard this song. It's like this immature song called I Can't Stop the Rain. Is that, the, is that how the song goes? It's like, I can't stop the rain. But I don't know the rest of the lyrics to it. I can't stop the rain. Okay, I'm going to have to listen. I'm going to have to look this song up. Y'all look that up. Immature, I can't stop the rain. It's Okay, anyway, I'm gone. Let me get back into the prayer. I ain't got time for channeling. Father God, picking up off of that, I feel like Regardless of how we feel in the morning, sometimes, like, we can't stop the rain. We literally cannot stop the downpour sometimes. But at the end of the day, like, rainy days create nourishment for the world. Like, you cannot let that beat you. You cannot let that stop the sunshine and the beat of your step when you're going out there to get your respect. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, hell, sleep, rain, or snow. Like, you're going to get where you got to go, just period. It's just like we're not letting nothing stop you, you know? Like, if you live in an atmosphere where it be raining all the time, like, get you a car with some good windshield wipers or get you, like, a raincoat. Like, just, you know, if you, if you get prepared, you don't have to worry about being caught off guard by no rain, by no on pour, by, you know, just things just... Hitting you from the left field. Y'all know that this is the Mercury Mercury retrograde. So, I don't know if that's why I'm channeling that. That I can't stop the rain. You can't stop it. You cannot stop it. Only thing you can do is not let it stop you or defeat you in your movements. That's it. It's going to happen. Things are going to happen. But you got to keep it moving. So, Father God, let me just... Give Aries strength right now 
because I really, really feel like, because I swear I was just going into this. And, you know, that's why, I, like, I feel like Fat Man Batman is here because he's just like, hold on, here we go again with this. Listen, I can't stop the rain. Here we go. Because I'm just like, why was I feeling so positive? And then it was just like, hold on, skirt. Like, <laughs> you know, like something just blow your good energy. So, we going to see what's going on. Father God, just continue to touch down on Aries. Keep us there. Please keep us center you understand unmovable unbothered unshakable unbreakable period point the end that's all she wrote so father god give us guidance for the sign of aries keep us there please give us blessings for uh october 2020 show us the money and thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future let's get these cards out in the name of jesus yes ma'am miss pam miss pam miss pam all right, guys. So let me see if I'm getting anything else as I'm getting these cards. And if you could kindly, you guys, if there's anyone that wants to skip through, go ahead and put a time stamp once I get all of the cards out for the people that want to skip ahead. But okay, it just said like. <sighs> Y'all try to find ways to step out of your shadow because it's like typically, I want to say y'all would get mad or y'all would get irritated. Y'all would get flushed or y'all would let people bother you and have a show of emotion. Um, because believe it or not, like Aries are very emotional. They are very sensitive. You know what I'm saying? So like you can easily ruffle an Aries feather. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you better be prepared <laughs> that damn Aries get up and try to ruffle your feathers cause bitch Aries gonna ruffle all your feathers like y'all oh my gosh y'all oh my goodness but Aries are sensitive and emotional and it's like I don't know why people think that they can play with them in a way which Aries don't like to be caught off guard with no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why my that's why Fat Man Batman is just like, man, I'm not do it look like I'm playing with you right now. Like I was having a good time. Like, what are you what are you talking about? Like, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? And what is this? We got the three of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, y'all. Y'all, we got the three of pentacles. So it's like you've been trying to like seek some type of counsel. Um, some advice from other people that may be a little bit wiser, try to help you put shit together. Oh yeah, and in the pre-shuffle, what else did I see? I seen the King of Pentacles, I seen the um, Ace of Swords, and I seen I seen the the King of the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Swords. So, with that being said. And then you had the three of pentacles. So that's a lot of earth energy. So you guys, like I said, are grounded at this point. Um, especially for my male Aries. It's like you guys, you're using your passions towards, okay, what is this? The pink lotus fairy. It's time for spirit. It's like serious. Like, we'll get to that in a second. Let me finish saying what I was saying. But like I said, like, it is time for spirit. Like, y'all are, like, the lotus flower. Like, y'all getting that shit out the mud right now. Like, y'all been going through some tough shit. But it's like, it ain't meant to come easy for you. That ain't the way Aries learn. Like, you got to get it out the mud. Like, you learn through struggle sometimes when your back is up against the wall. But this time, I feel like you went inside and you found your inner peace like shit. And it's like you coming out with this king of pentacles energy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like mm, the faceless ghost and the haunted girl ghost people. <laughs> Ooh, child. Listen, your Aries is like, listen, y'all talk. You talking. If you want, if you talking, let's talk. Like, fuck all of this. We're going to pull the cards out later. I, I want to talk right now. I want to talk right now. I can't, mm -mm. y'all not about to work me today, y'all not about to work me, let me see what this was anyway, let's see, this is the two witches, 
magical space clearing time. Bitch, I gotta take this. I gotta take it. Y'all see, y'all try to work me. Y'all try to work me. Y'all got like a whole goddamn pre-shuffle spread that's in my head that I'm trying to tell y'all about. Y'all get extra cards. Like, okay, let me finish telling y'all what was in my head. So it's like a coming to a point of mental clarity. It's like you need earthly stability. It's not stability based off of anybody else. That's probably why you ghosting people right now. And it's time for spirit. It's time for you to like really go in. Like this is like the hermit card for me. It's like you guys, it, 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 they say you want to be untouched. So it's like you really just want to be by yourself. You ghosting people. I, I don't. It's like you getting sucked into other people's shadow. You know what I'm saying? Like these people be trying to put this mask on dealing with you and be trying to come to you with the fake shit. And it's like I'm tired of listening or me being fake with you. You being fake with them about me. And like I, I feel like it's something. Listen. You being fake with them about me. It's like all y'all niggas is on some bullshit. Like, don't be lying to nobody about how you feel about me. Or... I feel like someone was ashamed of you, Aries. It's like... Well, I feel like someone was keeping a secret that they're still involved with you. Or something like that. The two little witches... Magical space clearing time. So it may be two people that you are having to sweep away. They could be twins. These are twins. You know what I'm saying? Like, these definitely look like twins. Same eyes, same nose, same hair, same lips, same voice. It's like, like y'all two got to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely feel it's like two sets of twins or some shit like that. I feel like there's female twins and male twins. I don't know. But I feel like there's some about people being ashamed of I don't know if it's you or your past. It's like you constantly being haunted by your past. It's like Okay, so they, okay, y'all just said I know what it, what I did, and it's not okay. Stop trying to act like it's okay because it's still haunting and looming over our relationship because you won't let me live it down. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like someone might have did something in the past to this girl, or this girl might have did something to you, and it could have hurt you, or it could have hurt them really bad. And they're just like, no, it's okay. We could be together, and this, this, and that. But you can tell that it's not okay based on this person's insecurity, like the arguments, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, why are you putting me through this? It's like, either you forgive me or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to continue to be haunted by my past that you supposed to forgive me for. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you did something with some twins or you were dealing with two different people. It, like, it could have literally been like, someone could have did something twice and it could have like mimicked. The previous situation or something like that and it ain't gonna be no damn third time to charm you know what i'm saying so it's just like i'm about to sweep this and get this away now because i really don't want to continue to carry this energy on i, I feel like someone wants to like figure something out on their own they want to do something on their own they gotta get get it through the mud it's like even all of these card numbers, 30, 34, 43, these are adult numbers. So these are not people that are young, like you're too old to be like faking and, and carrying on. I, I need to see what this is now. What is this? This says the grumpy red fairy. Be true to yourself. I'm trying to tell. Look, I'm upset. 50,000 for a grand. <laughs> Drake said, I'm going to set 50,000 for revenge. Something, something. I don't know what the hell Drake said, but I'm upset. Listen, I'm upset. 
change. Like, take your responsibility with that number eight. Like, you know, as above, so below. Like, trying to get... Trying to get something better out of this situation. I feel like these people here... I feel like Aries isn't doing nothing but being who they truly are. And it's like, I don't mean to upset you with, you know what I'm saying, whatever I did in the past. I was just doing whatever I was doing. But if you ain't, if you are not going to allow me to let that shit go and allow me to be who I am right now, I got to get you out of here just like I had to get the other one out of here because, you know, you guys upset me. Like, it's like you guys bring rage out of this Aries. And I feel like this Aries just wants to be by their self. I don't want to be around you no more. These twins could upset you. This person over here could upset you. Um, Where you're dealing with this girl or whoever this is. And they won't let you live down your past. And they put on this mask asking like shit's cool. You just want to be by yourself. You just need a spiritual cleansing from all of this fake ass shit. And you just want to be true to yourself by yourself. You know? Shit. Ah, damn. <laughs> Shit, I still ain't even get all the damn cards out. I'm almost scared to see what Alice in Wonderland got to say, because you know she be going to fuck off. And they keep saying, I'm upset. Let me see what the hell Drake says in this damn song. What is the lyrics? Hold on. Hold on. I gotta look this up. Hold on. Okay. Oh, he said, I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. So offended that I had to double check. I'ma always take the money over sex. That's what they needed. That's why they need me out the way what you expect. Oh! I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. So offended that I had to double check. I'ma always take the money over sex. That's why they needed me out the way what you expect. Oh! <laughs> Somebody wants y'all to fuck out the way, young. And it's like, again, remember what I said? It's like they embarrassed of you. Like they ashamed of you in some way, somehow. And I don't really want to say like somebody want to get you off or nothing like that. But it's like, you guys don't want to be around me? Cool. Like you guys are same to my past? Cool. You guys won't let me, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll, I'll get y'all out of here. The twins, you... You know what I'm saying? Like, you make me like this. I don't want to be around y'all. Like, you, whoever these people are, you mimic this situation that I already dealt with in my past. And, or there could have been two, there could have been two situations where you did something with two other people with this girl and, I mean, on this girl and this person's not letting you live something down. Or, I don't know. Because I'm getting a situation where someone dealt with a double dose or something. It's like, mm. let me get these cards out, y'all. I swear, because y'all are going to drive me crazy with this one. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. No, now it's like now they say like what y'all trying to fuck around and off me. Like no, I'm serious. Like what the fuck is going on, Mo? It's like okay, now I'm hearing everybody hates Chris. <laughs> no, like it's like why it, it's like everyone is so upset with me. 
just like that. I'm upset too. I'm upset. An ace of hearts. Oh, I've had such a curious dream. So is this all an illusion in your head or something like that? Do you feel like people are after you or people don't respect you? Or listen, oh, I've had such a curious dream. The Ace of Hearts to me is like a new home. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, now they're playing Papa was a Rolling Stone. Everywhere that he placed his hat was his home. Um, oh, I don't, I feel like this woman is stressed and bothered in some way. I feel like her intuition is kicking her in her ass. Like she's might she might be having a lot of very vivid dreams that she's waking up. Oh, I just dropped it in the tea. I just dropped my card in the tea, bitch. Oh my god. I just dropped my card in some fucking tea, y'all. Y'all have to sip some tea. <laughs> No, ma'am. Is this like the tea for real? Oh my gosh, I dropped my car in the tea. People calling me, like, what the fuck? Thank God this is like. Okay. I feel like someone needs to center themselves because. This girl right here, I feel like she's haunted by y'all's past. I really want to say she really, really loves the Aries of this person. This girl could possibly be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or something like that. But she isn't allowing the past to, like, die at all. It's like she is possibly putting... um a front on, a mask on, acting like everything is okay, when it's two certain incidences that it eats at her soul. And it's like, she may wake up upset because she's being haunted by this. It's she's constantly being revisited by this. And it's like, now I keep hearing Papa was a rolling stone, wherever he laid his hat was his home. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Let's see what this center energy is. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. So with that being said, it's like I feel like Aries might be changing around this victim mentality. Um... Excuse me, but still at the same time, I still like feel Aries feels like they're a victim, but they're going within self right now. They realize that these people upset them. Um, and Aries said they make they make them feel like a fuck up, and that's why I go other places because y'all two talk shit about me. Um, you try to act like shit is okay when it's not. Like sometimes I just want to be by myself. And I don't really understand why I'm constantly surrounding myself around you. Even when I'm asleep and I wake up, this bitch waking up talking about a fucked up dream that she didn't had about back in the day when I used to fuck with these bitches. Man, I don't want to fucking hear about that shit. Bitch, go talk to a fucking shrink. Go do some inner work or some shit. Go talk to spirit. Get yourself together. Get yourself spit. Like, you're driving me crazy. Like, I'm fucking, I'm the fuck missing. Like, I'm the fuck missing. And y'all two get on my nerves too because y'all two be talking shit behind my back and y'all act like I don't know it. Y'all can go the fuck away too. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. What you mean? But everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me because I don't need y'all motherfuckers around me anyway. Like, God want me to get out the mud. Like, I'm about to do shit seriously on my fucking own. Listen, the hangman in the reverse. I done seen y'all for what I needed to see. Y'all don't fuck with me for real. I need to get the fuck off of being hung up 
or needing to be around y'all, feeling like I need y'all in my life. I need hey, the only way I'm gonna get it is I gotta get it out the mud, and I gotta let God help me. Like I'm, I don't want y'all advice. I don't even want to tell y'all what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to tell y'all what I'm doing. You see them signs and shit right there. Those are runes. Let's play with the runes real quick. Let's see what the runes are saying. Let's pull out the runes. Let's put out the runes. Let me get Aries that one today. Me too. I can't see. And me too, I can see. Okay. So, this one right here means good fortune. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I think it's Suelo. Suelo. It means good fortune, positive change. Power restored, uplifting, enrichment, triumphs, happiness, good health. Keep moving, keep moving forward towards success. That's what this means. That's what this means. And let's see. This one, these are both like major, kind of like major arcanas in Tarot. You know what I'm saying? This one means um, how you pronounce it? El was it means immortality, adaptation, strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness, um, being resilient, growth, accepting changes is the way of life, challenging trials, being steadfast. You know what I'm saying? So basically what these are are, are telling me here, I'm like, lightning and striking like everything isn't happening to me it's happening for me it's happening for positive change good throat good good growth you know what i'm saying like so that you could be more dependable on yourself and like not worrying about what these people saying not feeling like you gotta be hung up in this element around these people that really don't see the best for you like regardless of and i think we've had this conversation in the past aries like regardless of what you did in the past it does not determine your future it does not determine your future like these are major changes that is is, is a force like these are tower moments that are happening right now like i said like this is the mercury retrograde this happen so that you can get down off of your bullshit and that you can see that you can do this shit by your own the Hank Man is a point of seclusion. Like, you might not physically be by yourself, but in your mind, in your spirit, in your body, in your soul. You have been doing a lot of internal thinking. Like, God has been showing you things so that you can see it is time for me to connect to spirit. And for real, like, whatever y'all been doing that has been low vibrational, it's time for y'all to get off of y'all bullshit. It is time for you to really... Have a deep connection with God because he's trying to show you something like he is trying to send you messages and signs and signals. Stop dealing with these people. They upset you. You know what I'm saying? You can't continue to place yourself in an arena where you're constantly being victimized and complain about you being a victim unless you just like to be the fucking victim. You understand? And that's something that you need to get the fuck off of too. Because I'm not about to play with y'all Aries. Because every time I talk to Aries, y'all always act like somebody doing something. Y'all, A lot of time y'all be doing this shit to yourself because y'all be hung up on the same bullshit and don't want to change. That's why God removed y'all from these people. That's why y'all been spending a lot of time alone so you can see the light. You see that? I feel like you've almost been kind of like. So I want to say you've been restricting your feet. It's like you've just been kind of hanging out, just allowing things to happen and complaining about the fact that it happened when you could have did something about it. You could have swept these people away. And you can still sweep these people away. 
There's a lot of good fortune. There's a lot of blessings coming into your life, Aries. You got to be the force of change. You got to get it out. You got to center yourself. Get down off of this bullshit. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. Stop playing the victim. And it's time to get up. And it's time to make movements. Did I drop another one? I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like I dropped another one. Okay. So let's see what else is going on. Since we over here. What she done had to dream about? The Empress in the reverse. So the Empress in the reverse... Uh, so, this person can have fertile, fertiliz like, she could be sterile, um, not able to have kids that could, um, I feel like that, that can mess with whoever this woman's, uh, self-esteem. This could be someone who might lost a child. Um, due to some type of stress or envy, that's what they're saying. It's like, um, because I'm still here. Papa was a rolling stone wherever he laid his hat was his home. So it's like this woman could have been pregnant, but she could have had a dream or a vision or something that someone wasn't being faithful. They were running around with the twins or they were doing something. They were doing something. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, she could have terminated the pregnancy. The pe pregnancy could have, you know, it just didn't go all the way through. And I feel like it could have rocked this woman's world because she might not have been able to have um, childbirth since. Or even her body isn't fertile. You know what I'm saying? Where she hasn't even had a pregnancy scare since. And it's like... Damn. So, it's like she's saying, uh, and he left me for some other people that could give him what I can never have. And I feel like it's a child. And um, I feel like that's the faceless ghost of this haunted girl, the ghost people. I feel like that's, where, that's what's haunting this woman. Um... I'm feeling like a loss of hope, like a loss of, she doesn't feel beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't feel like a woman. Um, you know, I just, when I'm sorry, when I see the Empress in the reverse, I feel like someone who isn't taking care of their house, who isn't taking care of their body. Like she might have a big stomach, but it's not from a pregnancy. It's cause she's let herself become overweight um they're saying a fluctuation in hair growth like a fluctuation in hair growth like your hair could be shedding right now or something like maybe your hair was like long and beautiful before but like maybe your hair is like short like you have short hair or something Maybe a little bit over. Like, you just, like, been kind of letting yourself go ever since, like, the loss of this child or something. It's like, and I want to say that someone was running around or something like that. Like, I really do feel like that. Oh, I've had such a curious dream. Like, the ace of, the ace of hearts can mean, like, a home. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like this person could have found love in another home. So, okay. The hearts. It says the ace of hearts. Happiness. The home of residence. Family. Love. Friendship. Joy. Source. The start of a romance. A situation within the home. Based on the surrounding cards. Being a beginning of an emotional period. Positive energy. The soul. Remember. This is someone saying that they need to go within. Have like, you know what I'm saying? Had his soul journey. Not just him, but her too. I don't know. This could be a lesbian relationship too. Because it's, it's just a lot of women on, up here. But I feel like this could definitely be a lesbian relationship. Most definitely. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could 
kind of feel sad right here though. And even for you, baby girl, like you know whoever the masculine energy at that time in their life wasn't shit. Like, I seriously don't feel like this person is doing anything now with this eight. I want to say that this person is really trying to manage themselves and try to change. And I feel like people, I don't want to say still like accusing them of wild shit or something like, especially these two. And these two is like right next to this person. And it's like, you, you be talking shit about, I just, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't know what that is right there, but I don't like that. But her... This is about you 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 getting down off of this shit too because I'm gonna keep it 100 if this person triggers you like that you need to let them go babe and it's not happening to you it's happening for you it's time for you to release it's time for you to release and clean that shit away it's time for you to sweep it away it's time for you to do it what is this? The Empress. You got the you got the Empress card right here. So again, it's like I want to say the loss of that child or the loss of that because I'm still seeing the world right here. I feel like at one point in time, like this, this might not even have to do with a child. Like a person could have been your world. You know what I'm saying? You could have given some somebody everything. You could have been hung up on this person. And trying to change this person or trying to give to this person or trying to be this empress or try to get this person to see you as this empress. But your intuition was telling you this person's heart is not at my home. And it could have changed your world. You know? But you are beautiful. I don't, I don't, I don't even like saying that, but you know, they are saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. So what if this motherfucker didn't see the world in you, and didn't see your beauty, and didn't nurture you and and and, and dedicate themselves to you? This person threw you away. There is somebody else that sees that in you. This is the Empress going to the Emperor card. Do you not see them in ceremony? Do you not see? Them children there. Sometimes God blocks certain things because that ain't who you was supposed to have children by. Do you know shit? Janet Jackson, what time? Did, when, how old was Janet when she had a damn baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's never too late. Sometimes we got to get down from being hung up off of bullshit that is not for us. Sometimes, like, the signs, listen, when you was hung up on this shit, the signs was right there in front of your face. God just wanted you to see the light. But you were still holding on. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now it's time for you to get up off of it. That happened for you. I know it hurt. But that wasn't who you... Listen, look, look at this, baby. This represents fertilization in life. This right here. That they hold together. Y'all know I didn't have, like, when I was young, I was in this relationship for, like, five years. And I was reckless. I didn't wear condoms. We were doing, you know what I'm saying? We were doing all of that stuff. I never, I wanted a kid by that person so bad. Because everyone around me was having children. And I'm just like, I, I felt like I was sterile. Like, I wouldn't, like, I couldn't have children. That man was alcoholic. He used to smoke dippers. Uh, if y'all know what Dipper is, that's PCP. That's like angel dust, formaldehyde, wet, sherm. You understand what I'm saying? Fucked up shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, and I didn't even find that out until we lived with each other. Like, I've dated this man for like a year and a half before we moved with each other. But you never really know who a motherfucker is until you live with him. Hello? Am I hitting something for someone right now? Okay. Whoever this person that you hung up on didn't make you feel beautiful. When I was in that situation with that person, that person didn't bring the best qualities out of me. 
It wasn't meant for me to have his child. I didn't have my first pregnancy until I was 26 years old. I have two children by that person. And that's the only person that I have children by. We're not together anymore. But we came together for these children. That boy and that girl. You don't know what life has in store for you. You got to release things that are triggering you and haunting you so that you can find your inner beauty, your inner peace. And you can allow God, the world, the universe to show you the way. And it's like, this emperor may be a little bit older than you. I really do feel like whoever this is, is just not, and it's not, I'm not knocking because I feel like on this side is this person and on this side is probably the Aries. I don't know. I'm going to keep reading, but whoever this was that was hurt, I don't know if this is someone that's cross-watching that was hurt by the Aries and... You know what I'm saying? And like the earlier energy, I'm like, but I did this and I'm trying to change. No. Uh. You got to look at both sides of the coin here. Because you can't fuck people over multiple times and then get mad at them because of their insecurity. You caused it. And you hurt this person. And this person is haunted by what you did to them. Their fault is not letting go. Allowing you to keep hurting them and now you decided not to hurt them they're haunted by the fact that all you did was hurt them and now you're hurting them because you want to sweep them away but you should sweep them away Aries like if this person isn't strong enough to let you go and keeps holding on to you do what's best for the both of y'all do you understand what I'm saying so this you got the eight of coins. Focus on your work. You got the star right there. You got the star in the reverse. Okay. Listen. I, okay. And then you got the high fence. So listen. That's why I'm trying to tell you, baby girl. Baby girl. In my B. Simone voice. Listen to me, Tonita. You need to focus on your job. You need to focus on your worth, your self-worth, because this situation, I feel like in even in his how in his home in this situation, because Papa was a Rolling Stone, wherever he laid his hat was his home. Like I feel like only thing that this woman does is work, 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 focus on her work. Um because I feel like it was nothing to go home to. You know what I'm saying? Like this person had lost their faith. It's like they didn't want to journey home it's like i'd rather be out in the streets and dedicate my life to my purpose to my gift to you know what i'm saying like you could um be a psychologist or uh you could be a spokesperson for something you could be uh doing rallies right now in protest or something like that um for black lives matter or um for women's rights or you know what I'm saying whatever it is and you could be a star in that realm you know what I'm saying like you're a star but in regards to you heading back home you see where that moon is there you see where that moon is there you see the star you see how it's headed into the moon listen your intuition be telling you not to head home because It's okay, the moon in the reverse is like their fears turning into reality. It's like everything that I wish that you wasn't, you that's all that you've become to be. Like you've shown me nothing but that. And it's just like I rather work. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is the eight of coins going into the nine of coins. This person rather work. Um and like this person going into the nine of coins, you could be becoming famous. You know what I'm saying? Like your speech. Your dedication to like, like this person is about to become famous. Something may take off suddenly. 
Your career might just start soaring. And I'm trying to tell you, like, and then you got the hierophant down here, too. You got the, listen, these are two marriage ceremonies. Don't you see this, baby? You got the emperor and the empress, and you got the hierophant. And then look, you got the hierophant into the lovers. Whoever this is that got hurt in this situation needs to stop triggering their self. You don't even want to go home to this person. Like, even laying next to them, you, you be having dreams about shit from the past. Shit that, like, your dreams be exposed and stuff. And you know what? I Now I'm thinking this motherfucker is lying because... Alright, I'm about to I'm about to call you out. Boom, I'm about to call you out. This is what this motherfucker be doing. Right? So baby girl be sleep, right? Her intuition be showing her what really be going on when this person be with these twins. I don't know if these twins are some friends, brothers, cousins, colleagues. These motherfuckers like freaking frat. I don't know if they get into trouble with each other or something. But for some reason, I feel like this person needs to separate themselves from these two. Because they're like frenemies or some shit like that. It's like... This one is always coming home angry talking about what these two did or said about them. Or, I don't fucking know. But it's like some shit may be coming out. Ooh, they said that um, he said he was with them and he don't be with them. Like actually they could have swept him out of their life. Ooh, I really do feel like the twins or whoever these two are, the two friends or whoever these people are. Or these could have been some lovers or two other people that this person was seen on side. Whoever did, did take out resonance. These two people swept this the Aries out of their life. Or whoever this person is. Y'all have to take the energy how it resonates in your life. So this person could be you having these intuitive dreams. It's like you focusing on your work. You don't even want to come home because I feel like you come home to an angry person. And I don't even think you know why this person be angry sometimes. And really the reason why they angry is because these two be driving this person crazy. So like this person could be cheating on you with two different people. And these two different people could know about you or... They might not even know about you, but they might know about each other. And they could be stressing this person out. And then you've been at, at work focusing on your work. And you come home to an angry, grumpy ass person for God knows what. Because they're, do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like you're losing hope. You're losing faith in this situation. Like your intuition is dragging you to the bottom of the coals, bitch. It's like something is burning you. I keep having these fucking dreams. I keep. Where is this person going? Like this person isn't coming home. Um, I don't know if it's you not coming home. Or this person not coming home. But someone's not coming home. And it's making you. Not want to come home. and fo Like maybe the both of y'all are not home. Because I want to say like you're focused on your work. Yeah. Because that's the only thing that makes you feel beautiful. I feel like that's the only thing that gives you that star power. Like, and really, like, you're going into the Nine of Pentacles. Like, you got to stop going home. You got you to stop going into this. Like, is your intuition is telling you you're... Rolling into a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. You know to stop. 
emerging out of the water from that pond like studded like you're going to get sick i don't know why i'm feeling i don't know why emerging out of the water pond. the high priestess the high priestess the moon the moon it's like listen it's tainting your spiritual gift. Do you understand? Like the star in the reverse. Like the star. Baby, you're tainting your spiritual gift. You're, you're, you're tainting your message the more and more that you surround yourself around this person. And I feel like that may be what you may be chanting about. It Maybe would you be speaking to people about self-worth. Like women's right don't let men treat you like that but you may be going home to someone that treats you like that but that's why you are so determined to get this message out and and that's why it's time for spirit like for you to go within because you, you lost that baby for a reason you were not meant to be in this connection you were not meant to be in this connection stop going towards that listen to your intuition you didn't lose your hope and your faith in this for nothing. The star in reverse, this is you. You were losing your purpose. You were moving against your purpose. You are fighting against your gift. God wants you to commit yourself to something beautiful. Like, God is really trying to... That's why this message is coming out of you. Like, I want to say, like... I don't know if you're a preacher, you are becoming a preacher, or maybe you don't even realize, like, counseling is like you're spreading, I don't know if this is church or something, it's like, I, um, it's like you lost your faith, um, dealing with this situation. I feel like you're dedicating yourself to church more, to your faith more. You're rebalancing, you're repurposing yourself. And I feel like that's where you're going to find this connection. Like it may be someone at church. Whatever it is, it's someone who has the same fucking beliefs that you do. And want the same things that you do. They would never, ever try to take your world from you. You know, it's like... God, I feel so bad, young. But, um, continue your work, man. Let's get over here. It's gonna be a long ass reading, y'all. Let's see. We, ah! <clears throat> we got the seven of fucking swords in the reverse. So, it's like, this person is being caught out. They're being called out. Like, it's to the point where it, 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 you can't hang up on this shit no more. Because this person, you're seeing this person for what there is. It's like your security system is alerting you. Your intuition is like trying to tell you to don't go home anymore. Like, it's like this person. <sighs> It's like this person trying to sneak out while you weren't home, but it was like you were still alerted to it. It's like you still seen them. They might try to steal some of your shit, like, as they leave. Like, be careful. I feel like someone may try to steal some of your belongings or, um, someone is trying to sneak away without getting caught and taking something as they go. Whatever it is, is not theirs. They didn't buy it. They didn't help achieve it. Like, you are the one that works. <laughs> Confirmation. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. The six of diamonds. Look, you moving away. Like, listen. Like, you don't block this person. You, this part. Oh. Again, this is like... The six of diamonds. It says the prettiest is always the further. What the fuck, man? The prettiest is always the further. I feel like this is an ugly situation with like an ugly 
sneaky, vindictive, nasty, narcissistic ass person. I want to say this person be gaslighting people. That the person only give a fuck about their self. Um, and I'm trying to tell you this person projects. Like, this person could have got caught cheating, right? And trying to sneak away to wherever the fuck they was laying they had at. Like, you could have had a dream that could have alerted you. Wake up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have had a dream that woke you up right in the middle of this motherfucker trying to sneak away. And you're like, well, where the fuck are you going? Fuck you because you did this and this, this, and that. And you don't even keep yourself together. You don't even wear nice clothes and shit. I'm not even attracted to you no more. You let your you let your body get out of shape and stuff like that. Look at your stomach. And, like, I want to fuck with a pretty bitch. Like, I don't want to be next to you and shit like that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't, like, that's why I don't be talking to you. Like, this person could, God, fucking damn. What the fuck? Shit. So it's like, I really feel like someone don't want y'all to get this message out. What is this sitting here? See, look, it's like, you see this thing that is sitting next to? It looks old. It looks... It, I feel like this person be trying to tear you down so that they could get away from you or something. It's like... They try to cause conflict. They try to cause arguments. They be trying to say that they're with these people, but they're not with these people. They're with someone that they think is better than you. You know what I'm saying? And But at the same time, how are these people better than you and you got to steal from me to go to this person? Um, watch your vehicle, y'all, because I don't know why I'm feeling like this person may try to ride, ride off with your vehicle and be missing for a couple of days because, like, or maybe that this is where this person be going with your car. And it's like you being caught, this person is being called out on this shit. Like, this person be using your car to go be with someone that they feel is prettier. You know what I'm saying? And they may take shit from you and go take it to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever this person is, is vindictive and nasty, narcissistic, and just, like, not a good person. I feel like they project. And you see, like, how the sun is, be it's, things are being illuminated about this person. Because you see how in the beginning of the reading, this person was coming off like the victim. Like, you're not a fucking victim. You're a victim of your own circumstances and your own bullshit. Like, you put this person through some fucked up shit. You made this person feel like nothing. Like, this person might have lost a child or might have, had a, like, misshapen their world to cater to you. And the only thing you're doing is, like, abusing this person and, like... You turn this person's world upside down, like... If you want to be true to yourself, be true to yourself. Get your own shit and go do that shit in someone else's house. Don't come and in, in, infiltrate somebody else's energy. And, like, you need to be by yourself with all of this shit. Because I feel like this person is, like, a thief. Like, this person is a scammer, is a con artist, is... Someone who doesn't mean you any, no, it doesn't mean you any good. And I feel like spirit has been telling this person on the receiving end of this energy this for a long time. But it was like you weren't listening to the alarm systems. You weren't listening to dreams. Like you just, until like really started like, it was like really unbearable. Where it moved you to the point where it's on your heart so much that you had to start speaking about it and preaching about it and like or listening to people that preach about how to find your faith like this this church the six of diamonds let me tell you what the six of diamonds someone's getting blocked someone's getting um cut out it's for their own good it's like you know what i'm saying oh child i bought up the spades honey mm, mm, mm. 
Six of spades, quiet, um, tip, intimidating people, shyness, lack of communication, jealousy, possessiveness, psychology, social services, science, technology, computer, information systems, diagnostic equipments, energy surge, vitality, power, electrical shock. Remember I said something about something shocking. Um, horsepower, kinetic energy, nervous energy, adrenaline. So you see how this person is nervous looking like they're trying to get away. You see how this person is nervous looking like they're trying to get away and not get caught. They're trying to be quiet. They may be trying to intimidate people. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like this person got caught and then their defense is trying to intimidate you so you, you won't. It's like every time this person gets caught up on something, they try to Confront you, yeah, but you did this and da 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 da, and you woke me up this morning, and that's why I did that because you, you know what I'm saying? Like this person is like, that's how they get out of shit. They project negative energy on people as if they're the victim and they're not, and they'll turn the shit around on you as if they're the victim, so that you can't get a word in edgewise, um, and you need to. Cleanse this person from you. This person is trying to get away from you anyway. Let them fucking go. The temperance in the reverse. So the temperance in the reverse, this represents like... To me, this is the devil. Look, and it, look. The temperance... This is the in-between tarot. This is the temperance going into the devil. This is the temperance in the reverse. So that means the devil has full control over this motherfucker. It's like this person has no faith, has no violence. I mean, has no violence. Hopefully they have no violence. Hopefully they have no violence. Hopefully they have no violence. Um... Saying they have no violence, so that's good. But it's like this person could be scandalous. Um, it's not balancing their self. They give in to temptation too often. Um, has the lack of control. Um, and then they say that this person has a burden to the dark side. Like this person has a burden to the dark side. So let them go, baby. Let him go. Stop trying to pick from this apple. You know what happens. It's like the devil just be waiting for this. Per and y'all keep hearing my goddamn thing going on. Hold on. It's like the devil just be waiting for this person to be tempted and to pick another fruit. And they always do. And I feel like. This person over here is destructive within their own self and their own mind. That's why they always want to play the victim. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. That's what this person needs to understand. But you keep drinking from the cup of temptation. And it's like this person keep trying to get away with it and getting caught. And then get mad at everybody else because they got caught. That's probably why these two not talking to them. That's probably why she don't want to deal with them no more. It's just like. This person needs to realize who is really in control of their actions and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel like someone is getting too old for this nine of coins in reverse. This person doesn't have no fucking job. The seven of swords in the reverse again. And then the five of coins. Oh my god. What a tragedy. So number one, let's start off with this five of coins in the reverse. Um, This person, I want to say is trying their best to come out of a state of lack. Um, this person is trying their best to come out of a state of lack. Um, they may be trying to find a job or 
try to reach out for people for help this is the five of pentacles going into the six of pentacles so it's like things could be finally turning around for them because they may finally be receiving help from people that are reluctant to help them anymore because i feel like this person has fucked them over before like this person has stabbed people in the back that's helped them before and broke the blade off in their back do you understand look this person stabbed them in the back and walked away with the they broke the blade off in their friend's back like you gonna have to get like how can you even get that out like that's death like he be oh my god I feel like this person hasn't gone because this is the fucking seven of swords in the reverse going into the eight of swords. I feel like this person hasn't gone to jail yet um, for the things that they've done to people, but eventually they are. Because this person is like walking into ruin because I want to say you need to get this person away from you now. This person is headed to jail. Because with this nine of coins in the reverse. Um, it says the, the victory of the suffragettes. So. This person may be doing. Scams right now, like the nine of uh, pinnacles next to the nine of swords in the reverse, next to the five of coins going into the six of coins. This is like someone that was poor, that needed help, that's receiving charity from uh, a foundation or a help group or something. This is someone coming to take and steal and rob someone's charitable do donations and, and they want to get away with it without jail time. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, the eight of swords is like, this person wants to escape jail time. I feel like this could be a PPE scam, like. Uh, people could be suffering right now. Um, you could be protesting about their civil rights. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's been locked in because of COVID. Mothers are not able to take care of their children and provide and have a happy home. You know what I'm saying? Like You could be protesting about this. And... This person could be sitting back watching you protest and they want you to be the star in this protest because they're going to take your money and they're going to figure out whatever they're doing. Like you're putting all in all of this work for this person to come and scam and take it. Like I really do feel like this is someone that just came up on some PPE scam money or something like that and they're not trying to get caught. They don't want to go to jail and it's like they're waiting for people to receive these charitable donations like this is a robber this is a thief this is someone that has escaped jail time for doing this to people um and I, i'm sorry like i don't this is going into the ten of coins in the reverse so it's like whoever This person just comes to take from whoever they're around. I want to say that's... And then this person be lying and saying that they're with the twins. They're not. Like, this person isn't where they say that they're going. It's like this person is chasing after a new temptation or something like that. that this person does not operate high vibrational. This person does not... This is not a good person, you guys. This person is a piece of shit. They don't have any job. They don't have any worth. They don't want to work. They want to work you. Period. Stop beating yourself up because you lost this child or 
you allow this person to turn your world around go and speak to the world and you be a star and you teach people about ignorance like this and let God find you the connection that you deserve go to church go find you a group of people that are just like you stop going back to this that is not your purpose in life to give to people who don't appreciate it that listen the six of coins in the reverse is you giving to someone who doesn't fucking appreciate it and constantly have their hand out but don't want to work and get it for themselves. they just want you to look after them they want you to be their scapegoat you understand and if you keep letting this person do it they're going to keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it and it's like eventually they're going to hurt you like this is someone that when you tell them no they may stab you in the back and break the blade off in your back Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? The prettiest is always the farthest anyway. You're an ugly, stupid whore. Like your pussy was trash. Like this person is, is, is bad. God wants you to see that. I know this has been a long reading, y'all. This video has... Uh, resonated in any type of way because I really do think that it has and I really do feel like there's a few people mad at me because I'm calling their bullshit out right now and I don't care because I'm here to help people that deserve it whoever went through this they didn't deserve this but I feel like your intuition was trying to tell you a long time ago this person is deceitful, is treacherous, is a liar, means you nothing but harm. You didn't want to listen. Are you done? Are you done? Aries, this has been your reading. I don't know if this was for the Aries or the cross watcher. I want you to know that I love you. You continue loving you. Every single thing that you went through in this journey, listen, everything isn't happening to me, it's happening for me. God wants you to let that go and you spread that message. So don't anybody else have to go through what you went through. I want you to warn the world of this type of evil. And I'm sorry you went through that, but God only put people through things that he knows that they can handle. Because God got a purpose for you, and your purpose is to spread the word. I love you. Continue loving you. Peace.